to my channel, let's do it. So uh, today's video is going to be another cooking video and it's part of the uh, part vegan uh, journey. Um, as I mentioned in the last one I did, which was a fair while back now, um, I'm just now and then doing a bit of vegan food, mainly for a, a bit of health kick, uh, trying to have a bit of a healthy way of living. I will never ever swear off meat, so I'm not, I'm not full vegan, just every now and then I'm a part time one, like one meal in the day, once a month. <laughs> it's not really good. But today it's um, it's like um, it's called pulled oomph. It looks like this. So it was from Asda, and it was um, I got it for two for four pound with the last one I did, um, which was the Don the fake kebab meat, um, which was okay, it was quite nice. So I'm hoping this will go just as well. It's really simple to cook. It's um, five to six minutes over a medium heat, obviously with some oil. So that's how, that's how I'm going to be cooking that. And then what we're having it with is some part baked baguettes. Um, I'm going to put a bit of butter on, so I am cheating there. Obviously, because butter's not vegan, but like I say, I'm not a proper one, am I? So it doesn't really matter. But this may only like to try to try it, see what it's like. It might be worth it. Um, and I'm cheating. I got, I got, we got oven chips, <laughs> lost some fries. Normally I make my own, but we've run out of potatoes. And quite frankly, today I just can't be bothered because it's getting a bit later, and I just want it to be quick. And to make my own chips, we've got to boil them and mess about and things like that. So um, they just take till ten. I'm not really bothered about recording for them. It's purely about this. So let's get on with it. Right. So all. The, uh, the chips and the bread are in, uh, just cooking, so I'll just put this onto high for now, obviously it's cooked on medium, I always just put, I'm generous with the oil, because most of it burns away anyway, <coughs> oof, burn my eyes in that um, oven a bit, with oil, but yeah, so I'm going to let this heat up, um, everything's got about 10 minutes, this says it only takes 6 to cook, um, it should be okay. As soon as it's heated up, I'm just going to turn it down, but also put everything in with it. So, let's just crack on with it. Yeah, everything should be good. So, and hopefully it's heated up enough. If you've seen my previous videos, you know my oven and my hob and everything is shit. So, let's see. Everything else is done, I'll have just got to have chips and bread cooked. So, 
I'm just trying to pull as much of this apart as I can and then I'm going to construct it all together um, and then I'll taste it. Uh, I'll skip to me tasting it so you don't have to watch me making everything together. Because uh, I've got it pulled apart about as good as I think I'm ever going to. So, yeah, let's get it all plated up. Right, so it is all done. It smells alright. It's not the strongest smell. Uh, you know, slight barbecue taste, but that one bit were a bit burnt to be fair. But so I made it into a sandwich as I said, um, which went horribly wrong because cutting the bread it snapped in half, fell to bits. But I want to show you what it kind of looks like. So yeah, it looks very porky, don't it? Obviously, I might expect it to taste bang on, like like the actual thing, but. As near to would be nice, you know, for people who maybe have to go vegan for dietary reasons, like something wrong with the stomach, um, who enjoyed pulled pork before. Uh, so I know I love it. And if I had to go because I was ill and I genuinely had to like cut meat out, I'd be gutted that I couldn't eat it. So let's try it. Chewy. Very chewy. The only way I can really explain it is if you were to eat pork, it'd be a bit like eating the fat. But, with that in mind, <laughs> with that said, it is it's nice. It's alright. It doesn't taste like pork, but the barbecue really comes through. It's got a little bit of spice to it. And it is nice. Um, I am lucky to be in the position where I can choose one or the other. I'd always go for the real deal. Um, <clears throat> but this is obviously healthier. Uh, so on the days where I'm trying to be at my best health-wise, um, yeah, I'd go. I'd have this again. I'll definitely put it on my next shop when I go to Asda. And I say it was on a two four pound range. I'd probably get two bags of this over the getting this and done meat, well fake done meat again because after really chumming into that it went as brilliant as uh, as I thought it were but yeah it's all right great I'm gonna end that here let me know what you think if you've tried it um, or even just if you want a bit more information on it and um, if you like this video please give it a like and if you like my other content and other cooking videos feel free to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one thank you bye bye